Can we make magic happen without instructions? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Warning, incoming bold statements. Okay. We aced figuring out how to do science experiments without instructions. Yeah, we did. Every time. So that brought us to the conclusion that we can probably do pretty much anything without instructions, yeah. including the explicable. I'm talking about, ow. I'm talking about magic. Are you okay? I hit my thumb. Okay, now this does not mean that we endorse magic or necessarily find professional magicians to be cool. All we're saying is, sure, we can do magic tricks with zero instruction, context, or practice. That's right, that's all we're saying. Yeah. It's time for, how hard can it be to pull a rabbit from a hat? Oh no, we did it wrong, this looks like a rat. Here's how it works, we're gonna be given a set of items necessary to pull off a specific mind-blowing magic trick and try our best to figure out how to use those items to make magic happen. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be a decoy item thrown in the mix. That's one that we should not use to throw us off. See, we're already doing tricks. We start out with 50 points, and if we find ourselves caught between a bunny rabbit's white fluffy tail and a hard place, we can ask for a lifeline. Lifelines cost points. The more helpful a lifeline is, the more points that it costs. Are you okay? I lost my, my stick. We'll have 10 minutes to figure out each trick, and if we still haven't cracked it That's when the time is awesome. up, that is a five point deduction. For the end of each round, we're gonna invite none other than Robert, the magical magician. <laughs> <laughs> Mythical party magician, Robert, uh, to perform the trick for us in person. Hey, Robert. Hey. Good to see you again, man. Good to see you guys. Okay, for context for you, we call him the mythical party magician because the last time uh, we saw Robert was on a big Zoom call that was our Christmas party. <laughs> yes, the holiday party for the entire mythical crew yes. was a Zoom call and the entertainment was none other than Robert. Let me tell you. And it was awesome. If you're half as good as you were on Zoom, then we're in for a treat. I'm super excited. Guys, I'm, I'm very excited. You guys are gonna have a lot of fun. What is the first trick that you ever learned? The first trick I ever learned. Okay, so uh, most magicians learn how to take uh, like an empty hand and they find something invisible in the air and they put it Whoa. into the hand like a, a dice. But again, of course, if you can make something appear, then you have to make it disappear. Uh, and that's kind of the, the beginning of how someone does magic, you know? That was pretty, but you don't look like a magician. You, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. What, yeah where's so, your you guys cape? look cool right now. Where's your bow tie? Yeah. <laughs> where's your bow tie and your, and your gloves? Uh, you know what? They're in the, the dry cleaner right now. You're doing okay, good. Right? You You've do. got one set. Okay, so we're going to have uh, at least 30, if we have at least 30 points by the end, because we are going to have at least 30 points by the end, we're going to get to saw each other in half. That's what we're playing for. Let's get started. <laughs> this first round, you will use some combination of the items in front of you to perform your first magic trick. Your lifelines are as follows. That's real. I can tell you which item is the decoy. That'll cost you one point. Could be this clown nose. We can tell you the unofficial name of the trick. That'll cost you two points. Okay. Or you can ask mythical party magician Robert one yes or no question for three points. One yes or no question. Yep. I'm going to put 10 minutes on the clock right now. Here we go and begin. See, I feel like that this clown nose, it's like, can't be part of it. I feel like I need to take these gloves off because they're so slick. Look at that. Got you back. Cat got your nose. Whoa. So, <laughs> what was that? I took a my scrunchie? glove off and my scrunchie came off. You see this? Here's a, just a normal pen. I think that is and a, a sheath. And watch this. What? It is a double, double ended sided pen? pen. That's, I mean, that's we could a, have fun for 10 minutes with this. That, that is, I think that's a gag item, you not draw, a you, magic you item. Draw. <gasps> Did you see that? <laughs> we just learned that. Bro! Oh, so the whole, the whole end of the, it's magnetic. This is a false end to the pen. Look at that, watch. Hold, hold, hold it up. That one, bro? Hold it up right here. Mm. And then you put this on it. All right, so we figured that out. But what, and we, what does that mean? You did mean? not see that. You can put the dollar inside the pen. What? Put the, mm. Put the, mm, the pen. Take the top off the pen. I mean, I think this could go inside of the pen. Oh, good the luck pen, with that. The pen top? Not a chance. The clown nose is almost assuredly a decoy. 
Oh no, it's just a, it's nice and solid. <laughs> but this part. Oh, I think I just sneezed. <laughs> you sneezed. You sneezed into it. <sighs> okay, Steve. You want, I think we should just we should. Get What's it. the name of the trick? Please bring in the hat with the name of the trick. You could have just told us splitting the check. So splitting you know that it's got the splitting dollar the in check. it. Splitting the check. How do you split a check? Clear a magic hole. Magic hole. Okay, good. You're on the right track. Look, look, look. See, watch this. Nobody pays. Did you see that? That's called walking out on the bill. Where did that dollar? Oh, the dollar's down there. I think this is the decoy. This is a magic pin. If that's a decoy. It's certainly got us. Stevie, what's the decoy item? The decoy object for this trick is. The red clown nose. Okay, so all right, so we were right about that. We shouldn't even throw it the right direction. See, this pin does right, but this one totally fakes. Look at that. Well, okay, let's think about this for real though. What would the point of this popping off be? Five minutes remain. God, this is hard. Do we need to use more points? We need to use a left a, a left line. <laughs> we need to we need to find out a yes or no question. Robert, what can you do to help us? I can answer a yes or no question. Okay, yes or no question. Is yep. the idea to make it look like we have split the do the $100 bill in two? No. Oh, gosh, that was it, I'm sorry. Splitting the check. Yes, rip that. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Why did you think that was a good idea? Because everything leads to Every something. You know what I've noticed about you? Anytime I do a little flare with my hands, you think it's good. <laughs> like when I, because I just what I did with the pen handle, I went like this and you, oh! <laughs> I like where you're going with this. Think about the things you could buy with me. Oh, 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 oh. Yep. I know now. You want to make it look like you've oh. gone through the dollar. Oh! Yes, of and course. Then, then the, what about that construction paper? Decoy. It's not a decoy, <laughs> man. I, okay, we're ready. We're ready. To, we're ready uh, to perform. perform. To yeah. Ready to perform. Okay, let's see it. Why do, are you all of a sudden doing it? Remember, lots of finger flares, lots of finger flares. We're ready to pay, <laughs> and I have the money, and I want to <laughs> split it with my friend here, <laughs> and he's a, also a magician, and we together are going to split the bill. Yeah, that's right. So, we've got... Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, over I'm here. Like, Man, this is a good... Over here, over here. hey! Hey! Oh, I've hurt myself in the eye with my thumb. I'm fine. Oh, oh my! Oh, it's wrong. I, oh, can you, is there is something wrong with my eye? Ah! Is something in it? As you can see, okay. I have uh, pierced. You split. I have split, split this the pin because through. we wanted to both pay. And uh, now I'm going. And to now just we have. Very very simply, just say all you got to do is just crunch and go. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Is that right? That's good, right? Guys, okay. you like partially figured it out in the end, but I, uh, I'm i really interested in seeing Robert perform this trick. Okay. Yeah, top that, Robert. <laughs> Very simple. Oh, uh, is it? <laughs> we use the black paper in full text. We're gonna make See? a little shield. I was right about We've the got shield. our $100 bill and our normal pen. If I put it right behind, ugh. I can push that pen right through the dollar or a hundred dollar bill, and then we'll split it. And you'll see that the hundred dollar bill is still completely intact. Oh, whoa, did you see what he did? You split it? Oh, yeah, yes. Oh, you ah! All right, so let's talk about points here. Um, we, I think, <laughs> great job, Robert. I think we get them all. But I, 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 I put this down in a way, you, I, I fold it in half and I put it down. But then you did a puppet show. That's a so, point. Yeah. And then he did the thing with the pin, and Stevie, that's also- you gotta be the judge. I mean, yeah, you're Would recapping you? everything we just saw. It was I mean, great. Robert, can recapping. you work with me on the point so I don't get all the hate in the comments? I'm thinking- Wait, so you're gonna throw the hate on me? Oh, no, no, <laughs> I'm gonna throw <laughs> half the hate on you. That's what I do for guests. That's very um, nice of you. Yeah. Should we be nice and say, Minus two points. And we, sh we should be nice can... to them. It's okay. their first round. All right, we'll do that. How do does that work for you guys? Yes, we'll take it.
Okay, guys, your next trick is right in front of you, waiting to be discovered. Same lifelines as round two. Same time as well. You have 10 minutes, and it starts now. Now? Okay, so that's an auger. That's a hole punch. It's an ice pick. It's an ice pick? And then this is... A tube. A tube. Yeah. And then we have a balloon. It's a balloon. And then we have... A rubber band? A band. You would think you would and need then we a have rubber two band cups. and the balloon because... And some blue water. So we're gonna take this tube, and I think if we put this tube in this one... Magic, though. Yeah, none of this feels magic this yet. Feeling magic. I think if we blew up that balloon inside of this, but we need to put a hole in something. Probably the balloon. I mean, this, this can go around here. So this may be a decoy. But there's the rubber band. We should go ahead and find out what the decoy is. Yep. Steve. The decoy object for this trick is the balloon. Yeah, uh, see, that was about to distract but us. But we had fun with it while it lasted. All right, put a hole in the bottom of this, and then we're gonna shove this through it. Maybe it's one of those things where you're like the person that I, it's like I'm stabbing you, but I'm not really stabbing Yeah, stab you. me. This is fake, right? <laughs> and then see if you can get, be gentle, be easy, and then auger it a little bit. There you go, we, ream it out. And then pull, put this in, that's good. And then put this in there. Perfect. And the, you only want it just slightly in there. Just slightly. And now turn that upside down. And now do the same thing on that. Do one, one here, and then we can communicate. Yes. Right with the dead. So then, if I pour this into here, it's gonna it's gonna come out. Watch if I put it lower. And I put this higher. Don't go that low. People can't see it. Oh, look! It's making a fountain. <laughs> That's the trick. Look at that. Boy, do I have to urinate. <laughs> And boy, do I have no purpose in being here. <laughs> and I, and I have no. You know, you're gonna be very important in a second. I know, but they right. don't need to know that. I have the ability to urinate in this cup without <laughs> pulling my wiener out. <laughs> because you don't I'm, put it. Because I'm gonna get in trouble if that happens. Okay. So now, here, pull, pull, so, so pull, 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 raise the cup. Pour it out all the way. Now you're ready. Okay. Now raise the cup. No, and then don't look at me. Make a lot of noise so they don't look at me. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> We're performing already. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, it. yeah, yeah. So yeah. okay, so you don't want any of your yeah. other like no, no, no. Yeah, we need them. We need them. We need them. Uh, yes or no? What we're doing is awesome. That's what you want to spend what's your points the, okay, on. Okay, no. What's the name of the trick? Please bring out the hat. The name of the trick is the thirsty digit. Oh, 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 oh. Your wiener. <laughs> <laughs> this is all up sleeves. Right, right, right. <laughs> right, 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 right. You pull it through and go all the way to the other arm. Pause the time, we're really on to something. Reach into there. <laughs> <laughs> this is all part of our show. What people don't know is that we're ge genius magicians. That's tickle. We've already done this part. My assistant Link <laughs> is running. Is I'm not the assistant. <laughs> I'm the freaking thirsty dude. Uh, okay, all right. So uh, I would like to just pour this. Now I'm going to pour it in here. Keep them even. Keep keep, keep them even. Keep I don't it, need to keep them even. Keep yet. it even first. Yeah. Fill it. Fill it. Fill it. Man, I'm so thirsty. Boys and girls, the thing about me that's weird is I like to drink straight through my finger. Well, the, <laughs> wrong time. <laughs> I like to drink with my finger. It's a thirsty digit. <laughs> Look at that. Boy, and I'm really peeing over here. Wow. <laughs> and there you right. have it, the thirsty digit. All right. <laughs> Voila. Guys, it took a twist there at the end that actually was good. Uh, ah! But Robert, maybe you show us how it's done. Boys, you were very, very close. Mm. I can't help but notice that you have short sleeves, which is going to make this a lot more difficult for you than it was for us. But it's going to make it way more impressive. If, yep. If that's yeah, okay. All right. Uh, all right. Here it goes. This is the thirsty digit. I'm the thirsty digit. Yes. You see all the liquid starts to get slurped up by my finger here. Your finger is literally down. drinking that water. It's going right into his finger now. 
And that is the thirsty digit, guys. That's it. See, you were close. It just didn't need the crotch area. Now just cut to the shot of David under that table slurping on that straw. <laughs> uh, what it is, is we've got the uh, a second cup, which you were close to hiding it. Sometimes the, the object, you got to hide the object. Oh. Uh, and you poke a hole in the side, not the bottom. That way you can put the cup down. Um, yep. and got that a tube that runs through it. Uh, and the rubber band is to pinch that if I, if I needed to let go with, if I needed both hands. Then when it's open like that, it starts to pour into the other cup that's away from my crotch. It's, it's almost at crotch level, though. But you have to hide one of the cups. And that's the thirsty digit. Oh. oh. So it's not the wiener. We'll keep working on Alex, because I, mean, I do think there's something to it. You guys did. I mean, at the end, you you, right, you stuck your finger in there at the last minute. So I'll give yeah. you that. Yes. And, and you did do the, you know, you poked the holes in the cups, and you understood that one was going to the other. I mean, I would say, Robert, this is better than the last round, even. Absolutely. So maybe we'll just take away one point. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Before this last trick, we want to remind you that we're always releasing new stuff over at the Mythical Store, mythical.com. And, you know, it comes and then it goes. It comes and then it goes. But we actually have a last chance section for, for things that are going to go away forever to give you one last chance to go and get it. So go over to mythical.com, check out the last chance section. Before it's gone. Okay, boys, let's keep on making some ma magic. magic. <laughs> same lifelines, same time. Let's go. Ooh, they had popped the top for us on that already. Non-alcoholic wine. <laughs> yep, right. Yeah. There's a cork, and then yeah, there's a bottle. That's so definitely this, O'Doul's. This is two items. Um, wine glass. I think the wine is, uh, is the decoy. Quarter. Pencil. Super glues. Scissors. A couple of things I'll say. Um, this is this is always happening in magic. This is always happening. Oh like, yeah, this is a little drapery that happens all two the time. Two construction. Uh, pack, uh, this kind of papers. thing happens too. And then sometimes that'll happen. Sometimes that happens. But I think you're right. It's like if you just Whoa. like that, and there's a, and then yes, and that, and if you here, let's put this in it's there. Crystal. And then. Look at that. I actually Did you see that? Even though I saw it back from back here, did you I see was that? impressed. What what's the decoy item, Stevie? The decoy object is the wine bottle. Yeah, okay. But what about the cork? They do things like this. They draw circles around things. They don't draw I've never seen a magician draw a circle around a thing. Uh -uh, let's find out what it's called. What's it called? Please bring in the hat. This trick is called the disappearing disc. Right, and how do you make a disc? You draw a circle and you cut out a quarter. We were on the right track. The quarter makes, this is what we we're supposed to do. That right there, and then you make a disc of paper. And then, okay, all right, we got it, okay. So take this. But why can't you use this to make a disc of paper? Because it's too big, because the disc goes inside of the wine glass. How do you know? You I know. just have insight into these things. Is the quarter supposed, is, is the See, quarter right a stencil to make the disc? No. I'm not asking you. <laughs> I'm asking the, the professionals. His name is Robert. You forgot his name. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Robert? Yes, Charles. <laughs> okay, is the quarter used as a stencil to draw discs? Is No. Yeah, that's a stupid question. <laughs> what if we did this? Why don't you do it on the edge? That way there's less paper waste. Like you gotta cut so far to get to, there you go. So, I, I mean, think if you, we put just need glue, a breakthrough. if you put glue on the top of that, and you glue the top to that, it's a trick to make people think that you're gluing it. And then yeah. you take the quarter, where's the quarter? And the, so put that on top. And then the quarter goes like this. And then you're going to be like, okay, you see this disc? But we paper? have to glue something. You act like you're gluing. <laughs> this is this is a, a decoy. This is a, a decoy not for us, but for the audience. This is a distraction. There's not any last second hint you can give us, Robert. This is a tough one. Come on, you have like mercy. Like a one. Point, what do we glue, Robert? A one point hint. What do we freaking glue? I mean, You're all over it. You're all over the right thing, and I the am? glue is not performative. I'll say, and you have less than a minute. It's not performative. Do you glue the quarter to that? Yeah. Now you're just really pushing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, so it's back. It's 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 all things. Thirty combined. seconds. You glue that to that, and that 
Oh, you know what this does? Here, do this. People don't see that because that gives it some weight. You just need. Oh, we just glued our fingers together. That hurt, man. <laughs> we just glued. I think you got some of my skin. And I put it upside down. Upside down. The quarter is a decoy. And it's just like, look, I've got this. I've got this. We're ready to do the trick. <clears throat> we, 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 we're out of time. We're out of time and ideas. So as you can see, I've got this wine glass. Start, start. Uh, my, my elbow stuck to the table. <laughs> what the heck? Let, and, uh, let's, let's make this disc disappear. So you might wonder how you get rid of a disc inside of a wine glass. You see that disc? Mm-hmm. Top that, Robert. Easy, guys. Okay. So close. Uh, you have the quarter. Yes. You will see that there is no super glue on it. You take the little handkerchief here. We're going to cover the wine glass. We did that. Upside We're going to place the wine glass over the quarter. When we snap our finger, we can see that the quarter has disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> what? We well, it, it did disappear. And snap our finger, we'll see that the quarter has returned. Guys, this, this, is how, this is how it works. Are it's you going to show us how you did that? Yeah, so you uh, take that disc and you do glue it in a non-performative way to the uh, bottom of the oh, wine glass. But instead man. of this way, if you turn it this way, uh, you'll see that you can't see anything in there. So once the wine glass goes over the quarter, it oh, seems like the dang. quarter's completely gone. We That's had what all the handkerchief the in, is for. We had all the information independently. <laughs> yes. We just didn't put it together. And that's how you make that quarter disappear. Yeah. That's where you get I lost. mean, here's the thing. <sighs> yes, dude. I would like to see you guys saw each other in half, so I'm going to only take off two points here, which means that you win yes. getting to saw each other in half. Yes. yes. With Robert's help or just on our own? Um, Robert can help. I can supervise. I definitely think we're going to need some supervision. <laughs> okay. Again, thank you to Robert, the mythical party magician, for joining us today, helping us be our mythical, magical best. And thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. Hey, Robert, you say you know what time it is. You know what time it is. Hello, I'm Ty Morgan from Atala, Alabama. And it is time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. I like that magic voice he's got. That was got. magic, man. That was some close Alabama magic right there. Click the top link to watch Robert perform some more mind-bending magic tricks for us in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is going to land. Out with the old, in with the new. But before we do, check out our last chance section at mythical.com and get your faves before they're gone.